Weather Words is a production of The Reporter, Delaware County's leading news source. Good day to everyone. And actually, if you look back, it hasn't really been all that bad. We had several days where the highs were 64 and 68. They had some chilly mornings of 38 and 41. But you know what? You put the sweatshirt on and an hour and a half later you took it off and it was fine. Then we had two days in the 70s. We had a 74 and a 78. You know what? That wasn't too bad either because the humidity wasn't there. And also yesterday when it was 78, we had a wind blowing and you know what? It was kind of pleasant. I was watching the little kids play football over in Unadilla and you know what? It was a great day to be out. So that wasn't bad either. Clouded up once and I thought it was gonna do something. As we left over there, the windshield wipers went on for a few moments. Nothing happened here according to my brother, but I guess some places had traces of rain and some places didn't. Wait till later. Rain is coming, okay? And again, we already have 6.03 inches worth of rain so far this month. And this afternoon, tonight, maybe into early tomorrow morning, and by early, I mean between like 1 a.m. and 4 a.m., we might get another inch altogether, unless we get under one of the thunderstorms. The thunderstorms, they said, will probably have, if you get one, high winds but we are under an area where we could possibly get some heavy rain. Okay, like I say, this is how Mother Nature makes up a drought. We don't actually have one now. In fact, if you look at the map in New York State, they still have a pretty bad one downstate and the state of Connecticut, and still over toward Buffalo, they do also. Our area, which used to be about this big, is widened to about this big on the map, which means, okay, we've been getting the rain. No complaints, as far as I'm concerned. However, get ready for the cold front that's going to trigger all these storms because, believe it or not, fall arrives on Thursday. I was a little disappointed with the one of the channels I was watching where the woman says, well, why is it 9.01 p.m.? How can that be fall? And the meteorologist says, let me go check on that. He obviously didn't have a good earth science teacher because what starts fall is the direct rays of the sun hit the equator and start moving north. Okay, they go as far north as the Tropic of Cancer, and when it hits that, winter ends, and we start back the other way, heading towards spring. He obviously didn't know that off the top of his head. Shame on him. Okay, he should. But anyway, it starts Thursday, and it's going to feel like it. Believe it or not, Thursday, Friday, expect temperatures between about 56 and maybe 62 for our high. Okay, that's below normal, but I'll take it. In case you're wondering what normal is right now, it's about 70 degrees. So that day of 74 and the day of 78, it was actually too warm for this time of year. You know, it's kind of hard to figure out what normal is anymore. But anyway, that cooler weather is going to go right through the weekend. And it looks like we might again get some rain perhaps on Thursday and Friday. So let it happen. You know, it's amazing how quickly nature seems to recover because all the way over and back from the going to the football thing. All the grass was green every place and you wouldn't even believe we had six weeks worth of drought with almost no rain. I've actually mowed twice since then. You know what, I'd much rather have it like this than looking dead and brown. So it's gonna happen. Some of the trees, believe it or not, there's a couple here that have lost all their leaves already. I have a couple of orange ones. You're starting to see the yellows show up and you can notice as you're driving along, you keep getting that trace of color. I think after this cold weather comes, we'll watch the trees change real quick. Okay, so we'll wait and see what happens. But do have the sweatshirt out coming maybe Thursday morning through the weekend. And I really think maybe fall's here to stay. We'll wait and see. But enjoy. It's not terrible. To subscribe or advertise, call 607-464-4009.